Radio, grade 12 engineering, graphics and design learners. This is an introduction video to help you understand what you can expect in paper two for this November exams. Now, of course, you would have loved this to be the actual grade 12 2024 paper, but unfortunately it's not. It is the best I could do to get you as close a view as to what is expected in this upcoming paper number two. It is the 2023 paper. And I'm going to take the next few minutes to page you through all drawings that you can expect also in your exam that is right ahead of you. Added to this, this is one of the videos in the EGD Masterclass series. I've made this completely free available to anybody else. But if you do need me to help you prepare step-by-step -step paper uh, drawing for drawing, then I would highly recommend you to become a How to EGD All Access member where you have access to my specialist tutorials as I prepare you for paper two. I'll be drawing this actual paper in complete detail and you're going to benefit from this. This paper, of course, with its memo, is available for free in um, the download section. Just check the description on this video or head on over to the About section where you can find the link to free EGD papers and a memo. So let's have a look at what you can expect for paper two. Now this was to November 2023 and you all know the standard expectations. 200 marks you're going to get four questions and you've got three hours for this paper. <coughs> now you can expect when paging through this paper as you receive it that it's going to be of a high standard. It is grade 12 and it is your final Paper And so even last year, there was a couple of things here that, that learners had to interpret based on the knowledge and skills that they've acquired from grade 10 to 12. So don't be surprised if some of the things that you get in these papers even test your intellect in the sense of asking you to, to explain things that you have to understand. For instance, this spring year, uh, and they ask especially what is the indication of that line now. If someone didn't understand that and the use of that, they wouldn't have been able to answer this question. So just in this, make sure you get understanding of, in the mechanic analytics, what is given and how is it going to be used practically. And of course, there are many tips on this that you can find in your title block, etc. So this actual one I will do as an EGD masterclass on how to answer the mechanical analytical to the best of your ability and knowledge and i'll be talking through this one soon but i'm going to give you one big tip on this page and it's been asked quite often the last question on this one actually asked it again in the space below draw in neat freehand the symbol for the projection system used now you have to remember that paper two is going to be third angle orthographic projection and this symbol you have to draw down here uh, and it must be in freehand. So take note on the freehand request. But sometimes learners just are blank and they can't remember this projection symbol. This projection symbol is actually shown to you in this paper. If you page to the last question, which is the mechanical assembly, then that symbol is right here at the end. So you can literally page to the last page and copy that symbol in here in freehand and you're going to get four marks you can thank me in the comments for <laughs> for that four marks that's gifted to you just by watching the first few seconds of this video all right now the second question and this is very clear in the atp that this question can be a loci of a of a mechanism and or a loci of a cam and that's exactly what they did in this paper they actually gave both of them and it's been this way for the past few years so you can very much expect that you're going to have a loci of a mechanism and in my masterclass video i'll be doing shortly you'll be able to draw with me as i guide you through how to answer these kind of questions correctly and i promise you they're actually easier than you think with practice and with some insight that's going to be something that's going to be good marks for you at the bottom here they gave a loci of a mechanism and i must say the way they answered this question was I also had to take a couple of seconds to read through because look here, they've given you already half of a profile as well as half of a displacement diagram. But you and me know there's 360 degrees. And so learners had to complete the second half and complete that half. And 
can I just say here for a second, remember that the questions that is asked in an exam is going to test the knowledge that you've gained. And so you're going to have to apply knowledge. And so you can expect that the kind of the way questions are asked is going to be different from what you've done in your class and workbooks that you've prepared. But the skill, the knowledge and the um, steps that you need to complete this, that you know, I can guarantee you. They won't ask you anything that you do not know. So please don't be overwhelmed if a question is asked like this, which, you've, which I've never seen before this paper. And I've been drawing for many years. So don't be overwhelmed. But the application, stay calm. The application is going to be what you can do. And you know, you just have to think it through to get to that. Then the isometric question. Uh, 40 marks in this paper. Again, they've given you three views here. And remember, this is again in third angle orthographic projection. So they've given you a front view and a right view and a top view. And you have to know this. When it comes to isometric, which three views is given? I know it's stated on top, but you have to still be able to determine this is the right view, this is the front view, and that is top view. My tip here is just remember the top view will always be on its own. The front view will either always have a left view next to it or a right view next to it. And so because it's third angle of orthographic projection, if the layout is as such, top view, front view, then this is the right view. If this view was this side, then it would be top, front, left. Um, of course, there is a video on my channel uh, how to understand the difference between first angle orthographic projection and third angle. It's the one that's um, right in the front there, so have a look at that if you're still unsure. But in my master class on isometric, I'll draw this one with you because there's one thing that they've now as a grade 12 required and you are going to have to draw here a, 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 a view, isometric view, where this cutting plane plays a role and so I can talk you through those conventions and hatchings uh, in preparation for your own isometric and then the last question that you're definitely getting is of course your mechanical assembly and there's a couple of things here that you can expect you can expect to have a parses and take time to understand the different materials the quantities and uh, the names of the different components this um, exploded isometric view will also be there and this is such a helpful view because they tell you the, the front view and so if you can just look take any part here let's take this coupling it shows me the front view and so from the front I'm going to see this fork here and that part and so if I then go to the coupling that's here immediately I can know this is the front view because that arrow has shown it to me right if I look at that part there up here, up here, and that part. That's exactly what I'm seeing over here. Okay, so it shouldn't, here yeah, you can't be confused because this 3D is going to help you to know what is the front view. And then, of course, this then is the left view because if I look from the left hand side, that's what I see. That's one reason, but it's also third angle orthographic projection. So, uh, again, this flange here confirms that front view, left view. I see this end. If I look on the top there, there's a front view and there's a left view. All right. You're also going to definitely have a cutting plane in one of these parts and that you're going to be able to have to apply. Um, and there are two things here before I will draw this with the ET Masterclass series, but um, just before I end this video, a big tip. They're asking this one 4.1, a sexual front view and a left view. Pay attention to which one is asked as the sectional view. And I do want to say, I've had, I think, 2021, you know what they did? They only asked a sectional front view. It was a quite a complex drawing, but it was only a sectional front view. And so many learners, by default, drew a left view as well. And they wasted their own time because they weren't reading the question. So make sure when you get to your um, assembly that you do read your question clearly. The last tip I want to give you is pay attention to the rubric on the side and if you do have time make sure you double check it because there's one thing here that learners always miss three marks center lines okay now um, I don't want to be as bold to say this but look here even if you don't draw this drawing at all please don't you have to attempt it or finish it but if you, let's say for instance you don't have any time left and there's no way for you to draw anything on here draw center lines on this page because there's three marks 
for it. Every teacher watching this is going to kick me I've, because I've said it because I want you to actually draw this drawing. And in the EZ Masterclass series, um, I am going to take you through the steps to draw this confidently and help you also whatever mechanical assembly you do get, you're going to be able to answer that if you practice and if you consider some of the tips that I've shared with you. All right, that's an overview of what you can expect in Engineering Graphics and Design Paper 2 for November 2023. Please make sure you share this video also with your friends. Um, and of course, I do want to ask, how to EGD has grown so substantially because of your support. And I thank you for that. But won't you share these videos also with friends, like them, share them, make sure you subscribe. And that way this channel grows and we're able to influence even more learners to successfully complete engineering graphics and design. So head on over to the How to EGD Masterclass series. It's available right here and start drawing and preparing you for paper two. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.